welcome to Big Smile. If you sit down with your Mario Kart 7, the game of 2011. Oh my god, this is game of the year. How exciting. You can be excited too because you're about to witness some awesome, awesome gameplay. So here we go. We're playing online right now with people from all over the world. And like I said, I mean, it is great online. Uh, too bad there's no party chat though. I mean, I'm just wondering, is it really technically impossible to have party chat on 3DS? Because that would really be awesome. But uh, otherwise, you know, it's a very good online system. Check it out. It is very smooth. These tracks are pretty some hardcore tracks. You have boosts, you have jumps, you have paragliding, and you have underwater sections. Look at that. Oh, blue shell, baby. Blue shell. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Someone's going to get it right now. Yeah, so, you know, pretty uh, demanding courses, I would say. And uh, the 3DS online feature just handles it so damn well. Oh, my God. Game of 2011. I think it is safe to say that you know by now Nintendo has nailed the handling in Mario Kart games. I think they've been all very good, and here as well the handling is just fantastic. You know the cards stick to the tracks just like they should. It all works just beautifully. So really the question is uh, the tracks because I think that's another thing that makes a Mario Kart game uh, really good. The tracks and the items. So how are the tracks here? I, I gotta say the new tracks are amazing. This is one of the new tracks. This is a recreated Donkey Kong track you know from Donkey Kong Country and check this baby out I mean once again I am very impressed quite demanding you know I would say but still the 3DS and the online capabilities handle this track so well look at that baby oh get over the blue uh, red shell red shell check this part out right here for example just look at that you know oh yeah I got a fire flower one of the new items so I can shoot fireballs Ooh, bad one bad one this right here is one of my favorite tracks this is Rosalina's Ice World now or Peach has her uh, Mushroom Kingdom and Rosalina has her Ice World um, Pretty cool, and I gotta say, this is an amazing track once again. Again, look at that. Look at that creativity in this track. You know, one of the things I really love about the new tracks is the just how many shortcuts they have. They have a lot of hidden shortcuts, and it's re very rewarding to just discover those shortcuts and then use them on your friends, and your friends will be like, whoa, man, hey, DP man, how'd you come to first place? You were right behind us, and now you're first place. I'm like, well, yeah, I used a shortcut, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, exactly, exactly. Finding those shortcuts is definitely gonna give you an upper hand in the uh, winning uh, in Mario Kart. Okay, it's your turn, Elmo screaming. <laughs> now you gotta scream, game of 2011. <laughs> now, nah, come on, man, it's up. Ah, he doesn't get it! Now, the Bowser Castle tracks are always my favorite in the Mario Kart games, and uh, once again, this Bowser track is amazing. It's not as good as the one on the Wii, but it's still a fantastic track to play. And once again, I gotta say, the detail is just outstanding. Because, uh, look, y you can go just like everyone else, or you can take like this little little jumps here, which give you a little turbo. You know, you can take a little churn somewhere there, just to give you that little bit of a shortcut. Oh, look at that, look at that. You can go like here, and you really gotta know all these little, little pathways. And if you do know them, you can really stand out and your skill is really gonna show. Check it out. Uh, now I'm just gonna go sideways right here just to get a tiny little boost off this thing. Look at that. There we go. And you know, this is really what makes this game so cool. Just knowing all this stuff is just so awesome. Now the old tracks do come back in this game as well and they have been enhanced. I'm really happy to say that because they just got that tiny little touch where you can get that tiny little boost somewhere well you can get a tiny little shortcut somewhere you know and this little enhancement really does freshen them up I gotta say I, I'm totally cool with the old tracks check it out like like this part right here you know the just tiny little paragliding section right there it just it's just cool it's just really nice to have it really gives it a fresh taste once again oh look at that somebody threw a bomb there and notice all the different cards. Uh, customizing your card is one of the cool things you can do now. Here we go. We talked about customizing your cards and check it out. There's all these different cards you can select from the bottom. All these awesome cards. Let's give Bowser a pink card. Look at that. Now let's give him some awesome wheels. Look at that. And you unlock these different items by collecting coins and winning races. Check it out. Oh yeah. Let's give him some power. Uh, some mushroom wheels. Yeah. Okay. Some power wheels like that. Check it out. Now let's give him a, a paragliding. Uh, look at that. So, you know, you can be pretty unique. It doesn't go as much in detail as I would like to. It doesn't let you draw on them, which is a big shame because you have touch screen. You can draw some cool little logos, but you can't do that. But still, a nice feature. Yeah, I mean, I, got, I gotta say, Mario Kart 7 is a solid game. You can't go wrong with that game. Mm. 
easily game of the year, and I'm not talking about 3DS game of the year, I'm talking game of the year, yeah. One very quick look at the characters that you have. You have a good selection of characters. Uh, however, not the best. I mean, who are these three people? Like, why do why do we get them? Like, come on. This is Meta Mario right here. I didn't unlock him yet. But instead of these guys, like, what happened to Bowser Jr.? I'd much rather have Bowser Jr., you know, instead of these guys. Like, why do you need a B, for God's sake? You know, the classics make they would show. But really, I think uh, they could have added some better, cooler characters than uh, these three right here. Okay, one have one B, and but these two, I don't, I don't think that's necessary. But what do you think? What do you think? Let me know. And look at that, Rosalina's here. Oh yeah, Rosalina is hot. Do you think she's hot? I don't know, I don't know. There's so many white princesses in these games, they really need a black princess. Now I do have to say, I am disappointed in the battle mode of this game because it, the tracks, the battle arenas are just not as creative as uh, the racing courses are. Uh, you really do not have that cool arenas, I think. They're not as creative, like this one is very simple, look at that, it's just basically a, a circle. You know, and I think that really they could have done a lot more with this. And they could have even brought back a few battle arenas, you know, the one from the N64 with the blocks. That was an epic battle arena. I loved it so much. What happened to that? But instead, you know, they have some seriously silly, silly battle arenas. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, no matter what somebody says, no matter how badly this game is criticized, it is still definitely a must-have game for any 3DS owner. Because of the tracks, because of the items, you know, because it's just full and it's just packed with content online, offline. You're going to have a great, great time playing this thing. Check this out. You know, again, all the hidden little shortcuts and all the hidden little jumps and turbo boosts in the tracks. It's just amazing, amazing. Look how colorful it all is. Look at that. And it still is that awesome Mario Kart game where... You know, you, you, you can be first, and suddenly in a second you get hit by 10 different people at the same time, and you're last. You know, that's, this is like Mario Kart game that's gonna make you smash your 3DS, so smash into walls and just kill all your opponents, hunt them down and beat the hell out of them. You know, this is that Mario Kart game that will make the best uh, friends become the best and biggest foes. You know, this is exactly that Mario Kart game which is really going to stir up some em emotions. I play it every night and I can tell you that is definitely true. So definitely a fantastic game, great fun, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think because I want to know. There you go, that was my review of Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS. I love the game, obviously. We all love the game. I hope you love the game. If you do have the game, tell me. What is the character that you use? What is your favorite course? What do you think of the game? What do you think of this video? What do you think of me? What do you think of anything? Just tell me whatever you want in the comments. Uh, I love hearing you on everything. And again, this was my crazy review. Bye! This is a very cool new item right here. Let's check this out. This is the, I think, a Magic 7 or something. And look at that. You get all seven items at the same time. Oh, what the hell did that? You see this? This is exactly what I'm talking about, you know. I, I was about to use them and somebody just hit me and I dropped all those items. But yeah, I, I could have used all those items one at a time. It's a very cool thing to get. The other thing is, yeah, let's change the camera feature. Look at that, look at that, look at that.